triple save rocked all the parties. I know, right? Dude was like, whoosh, vroom, kablam! <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. Super Strikers just powered their way into the Super League fight. All right, dude. <laughs> and their opposition, Cosmos FC, have a little message for the men in red. Big Bo, they say you're the best, even unbeatable. Well, I challenge you to prove it. In a one-shot showdown at high noon. Only at Buddy Watkins Wild West World, the wildest time in the West. A penalty shootout? At a theme park? What do you think, Big Bo? Let's settle up, partners. Big Bo, you sure you want to take on Ninja just before the final? Totally. Cowboy was third on the list of things I wanted to be when I was a kid. Right behind Goalkeeper and Dinosaur. Rawr! Check it out, super fans. Lenny the Lightning Bolt? I haven't seen him for years. Klaus? I found the suit in the Strikerland basement. Is that why it smells like an egg sandwich? Pff, no. I've got my lunch in here. That's kind of gross, dude. You can store all kinds of stuff in the suit. Entertainment, Grislovia's favorite soft drink, and my little friend, Giorgio. Well, you're gonna have to find someone else to be Lenny for the final. Oh, come on, coach. I'm on the bench anyway. That doesn't mean you don't have to be 100% focused on the game. My kind of town. Klaus? Uh... What did I tell you about that suit? I know, I know. But where better to find someone to be Lenny's lightning bolt? <laughs> when I show them the goods, they'll line up to be the new Lenny. <sighs> Fine. Howdy, Super Strikers. Welcome to my town. Here you go. On the house. Bud Dollars. The official currency of Wild West World. Now, go wild! Dude, these carnival games are all totally rigged. See you around, tough guy. Hmm, staff break room. Can I get one? Make that two. Name's Deputy Chili Dog. What brings you to town, stranger? I'm looking for someone to take over as Lenny's a lightning bolt. Any of you mascots up for the job? <clears throat> hey. Come on, it's a great gig. Lots of fans, stylish outfit, 
And so much storage space. Here, take a flyer. <laughs> Listen, Lenny. Being a mascot in the Super League final is something we all dream of. Then what's the problem? <laughs> Move aside, you good for nothing nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> Official Super League mascot coming through. Hey, that's not very nice. And who are you? Lenny the Lightning Bolt. Well, I'm the fastest, meanest, most entertaining mascot this town's ever seen. The Cars Master. Now, why don't you bolt out of here before you embarrass yourself? Maybe I will. Or maybe I'll show you some moves so electric you'll be seeing stars. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you wore them, Lenny! All park staff to your positions. The showdown is about to begin. Ah, this ain't over. That was amazing. I've never seen anyone stand up to him like that. You will be Lenny for the final, won't you? Yeah! and put an end to his villainy once and for all. I... I can't. Okay? Huh. I was so sure I knew where that ball was going. Don't worry about it, man. It was a lucky shot. Yeah, I suppose. The rig ball worked a treat, fellas. When I give the signal, you all know what to do. <laughs> like a runaway bat in the headlights. Uh, I think you're getting your metaphors a little mixed up there, Mac. Come on, Brenda. This is the Super League final. We gotta put in all the stops and go for it like tomorrow is going out of fashion. We're into the 
second half, and Cosmos are taking control of this game. But there's one man standing tall in their way. force of natural born talent. All right, that's it. Nothing you're saying makes any sense. Don't make a meal out of a molehill. I'm just trying to spice up some food for thought. <gasps> Stop it! Give me a C, give me an O, and then an M, and then a... Uh, well, I don't need no fancy spelling. I'm the Cosmos Star. Boom! Kapow! Yeah! Coach, you have to let me be Lenny. The fans need him. I thought you were going to find someone else. I tried, but all the mascots are too scared to go up against the Cosmos Star. <sighs> okay, but I want you back for extra time. Hello? Want to know the truth? Meet me in the parking garage. Truth? Huh? Who is it? The two sides couldn't be separated in the 90, so we're going to extra time. Yes, we are. Ugh. Are you really gonna sulk because I didn't like your commentary? No. And suddenly, Shupa Strike us spring to life. This looks promising. Got shot by Tiger! But the Keeper gets to it! Now there's a chance for the counter! But Ninja plays it safe! Very unlike him! Indeed. Why are they suddenly playing so defensively? Anyone's there? That's close <gasps> enough. The game is rigged. Cosmos are gonna win the final, no matter what. How? I've said too much already. If the star finds out... Fate! Why are you helping us? Because you reminded me of who I really am, Lenny. I'm a deputy chili dog of the law. We're right at the end of extra time, and the scores are still tied. Cosmos seem happy to play for penalties. But Super Strikers don't. The Men in Red launch one final attack. Block won't have time to take the throw because the Super League final will be decided by penalties. Yep. I don't get it. Cosmos were totally playing for penalties. But why would they do that with the big man on fire? Because Cosmos are planning to cheat. Klaus, where have you been? Finding out the truth. Also, I brought you guys some orange pieces. Yeah. Listen, guys, the game is rigged. Uh, how? Largo Lar! The kid from the rigged strength test is a ball boy. That can't be a coincidence, right? What if that wasn't the only thing rigged at Wild West World? The one shot showdown! I knew that ball moved weirdly. So Cosmos are gonna sneak on a rigged ball for the shootout. But where are they hiding it? I'm the Cosmos Star. I shine in the day and I shine in the night. Here we go, folks. It's all about who can keep cool under pressure. Here you go. 
go, kid. Hold it right huh? there. Shakes is up first. Can he get his team off to the start they need? Big ball went the right way, but he couldn't quite get there. Well, well, well. You finally showed up. I thought you'd be too yellow to face me. Ha! Shows what you know. I'm mostly red. Besides, it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. It's what you have on the inside that counts. Oh, ain't that sweet? Everyone's a unique snowflake. No, no, no. You misunderstand. The rigged ball. I know it's inside your suit. And I'm taking it from you. Oh! Ah! Closer and closer to making a save here. Out of my way. No. I'm done being bullied by you. It's over. Give us the ball. C come and get it. I'm the Cosmos Star. <laughs> huh? No! Ah, it's up to the penalty takers now, I suppose. It's two apiece in the penalty shootout, and the Super Striker's captain steps up. Now that's leading by example. Can Cosmos keep things even? Big Bo does it! Yes! Twisting Tiger to take the fourth penalty for Super Strikers. Confounded ball! Huh? <laughs> it all comes down to this penalty. If Big Bo saves it, it's all over. Oh, looks like Ninja has a problem with the match ball. That. Super Striker snatched a seat of their landslide victory from the mouth of jaw-dropping defeat that will go down as history in the making. Now that's commentary, Brenda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right <old> man. <laughs> we did it. I gotta hand it to you, Klaus. You really owned it as Lenny. Actually, I'm over here. Uh, then who's in the suit? It's the best mascot I've ever met. No one deserves to be Lenny more than her. <laughs> Thanks! But you'll always be Deputy Chili Dog to me. Oh, that's...
it's so sweet. But it's Rebecca, actually. Traffic at Strikerland. Aye, Brenda. Only 30 minutes gone, and Super Strikers are already in the driving seat. Hey, Shakes. Nice goal for the number two striker. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it was pretty good compared to your easy tap in. <gasps> That's it. Whoever scores the most goals wins. Hey, wait up! It's the 85th minute, and El Matador and Shakes both have a hat trick. Sorry, dude, but it's time to end this. And there it is! Shakes in the charoo! want to be Super Striker's next opponent. I technically must be shivering in the spandex. Ha! That's what you think. What is think? Something I'm very good at. And something I'm teaching you to do, Paul. So... How's phase one going, Paul? What is Paul? Well, that's you. Positioned apparatus for understanding likely move. I see. What is positioned apparatus for understanding likely move? Oh. You have hours of Shakes and El Matador game footage stored on your hard drive. You can analyze their every gesture, predict their every move. And bring victory to Technicali! <laughs> Tony, are you in there? Oh, great. They get so touchy when I bend the rules. Yes? Well, Tony, we're playing Super Strikers in a week, and we were wondering if you want to, you know, practice. I think Benedict B. Bradley is a little worried about facing Shakes and El Matador. <sighs> what is practice? Not now, Paul. Hey, who's that? Um, y your new teammate. A talented, uh, goalkeeper. <gasps> Paul, hey. What's his full name? Paul Pidbod, buddy. Uh, pim pember the pim the, uh, the, the, the. I don't have time for this. Now go do whatever it is you do around here. Hmm. <gasps> I need to get the new guy's Super League card. I've got you, Benedict B. Bradley, Thaddeus Farrington the Third, and. <laughs> Ten of my own cards! <laughs> Pretty lucky, hey? Aw, oh, come on! More John J. Johnson Juniors? What a con! There are like five of them in every pack! Virgo! All right, boys. Technicali this weekend. So, Coach, do you really need all of us at practice? These guys are going to be scoring all the goals anyway. Just because they're in good form doesn't mean the rest of you can slack off. Mm -hmm. Locke and North Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> no last-minute lucky shot is going to save you this weekend, Shakes. If you really want to score as many goals as me, I can teach you how to do the knuckleball. Ah, I don't need to learn your stupid, flashy, unstoppable move. I've got plenty of my own. All right, all right, you two. I don't mind some healthy rivalry. Just try not to get carried away.
Ooh. I got you now, dude! You'll never catch me! You guys are unbelievable, man. A circle, circle! Miko Chen, passing 86. Pretty good, but not as good as Riano. 89. <laughs> All right, my turn. El Matador, attack 94. Kablam! Ha <laughs> ha ha! You hear that, Shakes? My Super League card has an attack score of. Shakes, attack 95! Huh? huh? What? How can this be? <clears throat> Knuckleball! Just because Tony doesn't want to practice doesn't mean we can't. Yeah! So we're gonna get on the pitch. Yeah! And no matter what, we're gonna be ready for Super Strikers. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> okay, Paul, let's get to work. Tony's having a private practice? With Paul? There you are, Paul. One brand new state-of-the-art synthetic eye. So, how do you like the view? What is the view? Oh, shut down while I work on the next phase. What is shut down? John G. Johnson Jr. Attack 35. Ah. Hey, where's the Shakes card? Gargle, gargle. One point. One point, and it's all because of that stupid knuckleball. Hello, Tony. All right, Paul. Time to test the final phase of my plan. Yes! The magnetic field is stable! Oh, what's that? One of John J. Johnson's stupid cards. That Snoopy Snooper has been snooping around. Hmm. Oh, Paul? Identifying target. Target shakes. Yes, it works! <laughs> what works? Oh, shush! You're ruining my moment. Ba -da -ba! Tony, you're a genius! Ha -ba -da -ba -ba! Gonna beat Super Strikers, win the Super League! Practice for all, not just Paul! Practice for all, not just Paul! 
What on earth are you lot doing? We've had it with you giving Paul preferential treatment, Tony. You idiot! Paul is a... Paul is a what? Paul is a... Uh, uh, very sick. He's gone cold, turned gray, and he's not moving. So, uh, Tony, I guess that means I'm up? It's what Paul would want. In fact, you should wear his lucky gloves. Now get out there and win this for Paul! Let's do it, guys! Not so fast, John J. Johnson, Jr. I found this on the pitch last night. What were you doing out there? What did you see? You saw nothing, got it? A shakes card? Wow, those are super rare. So you're denying you left it there? I know you're into these things. It wasn't me, Tony. I'd never lose a Super League card. Hmm. So... Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Whatever. All right, nobody move. Huh? Oh? Our Shakes card is officially missing. Goggles, goggles, dog. Huh, don't look at me. The only things I collect are records. <laughs> and I definitely don't need the Shakes card. All right. It was me. Huh? Oh. I came here last night to practice and might have dropped it on the pitch. What were you practicing? Naughty knuckleball shakes. Oh, yeah? Then why did you take my card? Because just seeing you fills me with the righteous anger I need to stay motivated. Come on, dude. Maybe the card's still out there. <laughs> hey, where'd you get that card? Tony gave it to me. Hate to break it to you, dude, but I think that's ours. Can you prove it? <sighs> no. Zergablog. Tell you what. I'll swap it for a Paul card. A uh, who card? Paul, our new goalie. What does he look like? Well, he, uh, uh, I, I don't know. He spends all his time hanging out in Tony's lab. <laughs> Lucky. How about you trade us the Shakes card for, say, 20 John J. Johnson Jr. cards? Hmm. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Suckers. Okay. You ready to take on Shakes and El Matador, Paul? Yes. Really? Yes, I am ready. No questions at all? No, I'm good. Ha <laughs> ha! Now witness the power of this fully operational Paul! Start from the men in yellow. But Block cuts out the danger. Oh! Now Super Strike has counterattack! You can do this, Benedict. Tony's relying on you. Paul believes in you. Twisting Tiger sent to the cross. Shakes is there! Target Shakes. Determining move. No moves. Scorpion kick. Knuckleball. Bicycle kick. Move identified. Bicycle kick. What a shot! Huh? Huh? Ah! The chase is denied by Benedict B. Bradley! <gasps> These really are lucky gloves. Sheesh, this is gonna be harder than we thought. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that, Shakes. I'll be busy scoring the goals. Uh. 
Knuckle down and score a goal, El Matador. I don't need your move, Shakes. Or your puns. Unbelievable! Benedict E. Bradley has stopped the knuckleball. <sighs> the chips are down. Your teammates have failed, especially Shakes. There's only one thing to do. The knuckleball? No. The knock. L. Ball. He shoots! Uh, oh! But Bradley doesn't read this one. He's frozen on the spot. Oh! So close! Shakes picks up the rebound. But there's the halftime whistle. Oh, yeah, <laughs> way to go, Bradley! <laughs> what? Shut down! Shut down! Did you guys see that? Benedict's goalie gloves. I I think I saw them move by themselves. Are you Dude, being serious, Shakes, brother? Maybe you're just making excuses because you couldn't score. Uh, neither could you. Totally besides the point. But there goes like a blogger. Yeah, they need to update Benedict B. Bradley's Super League card. That dude should have a way higher score. I don't know why Tony Vern bothered hiring a new goalie. W what new goalie? Bobby. Yeah, some guy called Paul. Well, he can't be very good if he didn't even make the bench. Apparently, he only hangs out in Tony's lab. Hello? Paul? You here? What is here? Uh, in this room? My core hardware is located here. Paul? Yes? Are you a computer? My designation is Positioned Apparatus for Understanding Likely Move. That's it! What is it? You sure is it? Is it? Great. So, you're saying Bradley's being controlled by his gloves? Kind of. It's all linked up to a supercomputer that can predict our moves. Why didn't the computer predict my knock L ball? Bradley was frozen on the spot! That's because it's not your move. It's not the knuckle ball. It's the knock L ball. Totally different. Think about it. Paul predicted me doing my moves, you doing your moves. But it didn't predict El Matador doing your moves. Exactly. So the solution is simple. Shakes teaches El Matador the knuckleball. Ain't gonna happen. Come on, do it for the team. The fans? The badge? Do it because it's your one chance to beat Shakes. The second half is underway and Super Strikers are on the attack. Shakes lines up his shot, but Bradley has stopped everything they've thrown at him today. All yours, dude! Oh, but it's actually an assist! El Matador comes running into the box and... Identifying target. Target, El Matador. No moves. Rainbow. El Toro. Heel kick. Move. Not found. Move. Not found. Predict this! Of course I did it. <laughs> nice one, dude. You totally win this round. Actually, I'd say it's a draw. Sometimes the assist makes the goal. Woohoo! Yes, <laughs> oh <Yes>! my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
All that money wasted on a stupid, annoying machine! Target, Tony Vern. No moves. Inventing. Failure. Impulsive decisions. I'm going to turn you into a vacuum cleaner, you stupid bucket of bolts! Course of action. Self-defense. What? Satellite dish. This is Global Orbiter, reading you loud and clear. Seven degrees left. No, no. Three degrees right. A little bit left. Now a tiny bit right. That's it! Perfect! Woo! I'll be right in! Game's well underway and scores are tied. But if anyone can break the deadlock, it's Cool Joe! Yep, the King of Spin has been terrorizing Barca with his crosses. And there's the new one! The Corkscrew! Cool Joe crosses into the box. It's the corkscrew! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> Sorry! Ellen, this is a space station, not a football pitch. It's bad enough that you're using state-of-the-art monitoring equipment to watch a Super Strikers game. Oh, come on! I can practically see the broadcast satellite out the window. It'd be a waste not to use it. Asteroid 237 is within range. Let's get to work. Hey, did you guys see this meme? Ages ago, yep. Klaus. Long time ago. What about this fail vid? Check this out. Oh. 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 Totally. I saw that one ages ago. Well, I bet you guys haven't seen this. Uh, hmm. A blurry potato. No, El Matador. It's a massive asteroid called 237, and it's coming right past Earth next week. Well, you guys are going to be too busy looking down at your phones to look up at the asteroid. Seriously, Cool Joe? Why are you so anti-technology? <laughs> Dude takes old school to the next level. Yeah, old university. And what's wrong with that? Besides, I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that old. Came with a fax machine attachment and everything. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is the 21st century. You should join us here sometime. <laughs> hmm. Message from Coach. What's it say? The Orion game's been pushed back two days. Aw, oh, man. That's the same time the asteroid's coming past. <laughs> oh, cool Joe's new phone. Charger sold separately. Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Posting that on Nata immediately. All right, all right. Which one of you guys did this? Shakes. You're being suspiciously quiet. Oh, he's just angry that he's not gonna see the giant space potato up close. I really don't get why Coach Black moved the game. He's more into astronomy than anyone.
Ah, Super Strikers. Welcome to the soccer sphere. Hello, hey, hey, Coach Black. Black. So, Coach Black, why did you move the game to the exact time Asteroid 237 passes? Oh, so great to have another astronomy aficionado in the Super League. Imagine, Shakes, as the astral giant passes overhead, two Super League giants clash on the pitch. A fitting tribute, no? Yeah, I suppose. And what's in there? <laughs> that facility will help us um, understand more about the asteroid. Cool. Can I check it out? I'm sorry, Shakes. Even the slightest interference could affect the readings. No one is allowed in Dome 237. Shakes! Practice! Barba, Barba, great stuff, guys. Forward to me. Coach Black has his side tactically astute and defensively organized. Breaking them down is going to be tough, but we've got something that no amount of planning can stop. El Matador's brilliant shooting? Oh, of course, my mistake. It's my dribbling. Oh. <sighs> He's talking about the corkscrew, big head. Pa! Cool Joe's crossing can't win games. You need a brilliant striker to score the goals. Ha! Wanna bet? Let's give this a spin. With the corkscrew, even a dummy can score. <laughs> or one of those guys. Hey! Dude, that was amazing! How do you know exactly where the ball's going to spin? Practice, practice. Uh, and what's another thing? Oh, yeah. Practice. until 2.37 gets here. And let me guess, the Natter satellite's right outside our window? It would be a waste not to use it. There's still a lot of prep to be done. We've got to be ready to analyze the composition, velocity, age, and trajectory of 237, as well as the electromagnetic and gravitational effects it will have as it passes. Because we're less affected by Earth's gravity up here, an object as large as 237 should have some unusual effects on us. All right, guys. Good practice. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You've earned it. Now, here's a story about a guy I know whose skill is out of sight. His funky grooves and his deadly moves give defenders all the pride. So, brothers of the huh? Super League, it's more about a shock when you go Orion hosts Super Strikers. Oh, anyone got reception? Uh, nope. Not me. Uh -uh. Oh, bro. The asteroid might be causing electromagnetic interference. Said so on the Global Orbiter Natter feed. Well, well, well. I have reception. Yeah, that's because your phone is coal powered. <laughs> <laughs> Forget your phone reception. Just make sure your attack is at full strength. Totally, yeah, guys, let's come on, this. let's do this. And we're off. Hmm. 
Neat possession from Super Strikers. Dancing Rasta sends the ball to the left wing, and you know what that means. Aye, the King of Spin is about to lay down a royal decree. And there it is! Oh, so close! Early warning signs for Orion. Aye, but Coach Black doesn't look very worried. Once again, Dancing Rasta finds Cool Joe. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, cool Joe did the Orion Defender's job for them. So unlike him to miss the target. Another terrible cross. And that one's even worse. What is wrong with Cool Joe's crossing? Hmm. Hmm? <gasps> hey, Rosalind, do you think the gravitational pull of the asteroid could affect objects on Earth? Hmm. Perhaps, but only on a very small scale. Like a spinning soccer ball. I need to warn Super Strike us. Uh, for research purposes, of course. It might be a little difficult to get hold of them with 237 interrupting the phone signal. Analog frequencies should be immune to the effects, but I don't think anyone still uses phones that old. You can do this! Cool Joe sends the ball straight to the opposition! And now Orion can counter my ball! Huh? Super Strike is in real trouble here! Oh! Huh? North Shaw misjudges the cross! Big Bull goes the wrong way! Yeah. One nil to Orion. And it all started with Cool Joe giving the ball away. Yep. In the space of one game, <sighs> the King of Spin has completely lost his touch. This is rash, irresponsible, and downright dangerous. Come on! There's an old communication satellite right outside. And, and it would be a waste, waste not, not to, to use, use it. Do you have any idea how many asteroid fragments are flying around out there? If one of them hits you... I have to warn Super Strikers. don't know what happened out there, Coach. I placed all those crosses perfectly. It didn't look like it. Can you please turn that off? I, I don't know how. Yeah, they hadn't invented the reject call button when that phone was made. Wait, really? Yes, it doesn't have one. <sighs> Fine, answer it. Uh, listen, I can't really talk with... All right. Which one of you is behind this? They say they're calling from a space station. Was it me? me? That's pretty good. If it was me, I'd totally claim it. Who is this? Cool joke? This is Ellen Thrace from the Global Orbiter. I hate to be pushy, but you need to listen. Now. 
This connection's dangerously unstable. Asteroid 237 is interfering with... Hello? Ah! Uh, Ellen to Global Orbiter. I'm coming in. Like, right now. Do you guys have any idea what that was about? She said the asteroid is interfering with something. Our phones? I'm pretty sure she didn't call us from space to tell us we can't use Natter. Well, what else isn't working? I hate to say it, but Cool Joe's Crossing? Would explain why the ball's spinning all over the place, but can an asteroid do that? Bet we could find out in Coach Black's research facility. Ugh, but it's off limits to everyone. Uh, no it ain't. I saw the whole Orion team come out of that place last night. got to do with the asteroid let's find out now it's working <laughs> I don't get it hmm. when in doubt push the big button Gravitational reverse commencing. Black created a way to reverse the spin of the ball? Not created, emulated. Asteroid 237 is messing with your crossing. And Coach Black trained his guys in here so they'd be ready. You think you can adjust? I don't know, brother. I've been practicing the corkscrew so much it's instinct. I can't just switch it on and off. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. Second half is underway. Can Super Strikers find a way back into this game? Keep it on the ground, guys. Short passes. So you think Cool Joe got the message? I really hope so. Then where is... Oh, look! Cool Joe switched sides with Twisting Tiger. Well, he can't do much worse than he did in his normal position. You sure this is going to work? Not at all. us watching soccer on the state-of-the-art monitoring equipment? No, this is research into the effects of the asteroid. 
on a soccer game. Uh, hello? Is this thing working? Reading you loud and clear. Wow! I can't believe I'm talking to a super striker! <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to an astronaut! <laughs> Who knew it would be so easy to get Cool Joe into technology? Yeah, all he needed was the right motivation. Do you guys mind? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Can we get some space, please? <laughs> How much more space do you need? true that you plan to shave your afro for the new Super League season? Uh, if I did that, where would I keep my power comb? El Matador, El Matador, over here! Can you comment on rumors you melted the Super League trophy into a golden statue? Of yourself? Not true, but tempting. North Shark, our sources say you might join Hydra this season. <laughs> yeah, well, your sources must be drinking seawater. Dancing Rasta. What do you say about reports that Duma has rejoined Invincible United as captain? Ha! That's the silliest rumor of them all. Yeah, not even United are crazy enough to let him back. <laughs> Man, the off-season's been tough for the press. Yep, no footy to report on, so they gotta make up crazy stories. Hang on, hang on. Tell me about it. Well, they don't have to wait much longer. The Super League is almost back in action. And how was everyone's holiday? I worked on a new album. I played soccer. Wow, During the off season. On the couch. Ah, oh, you dudes won't believe what I did. Had an insane time. Surfing? Uh, yeah. That all sounds pretty cool, but nowhere near as exciting as a guided tour of the castles of Bavaria. Oh, I learned so many interesting facts. And did you know that King Ludwig II had a wooden leg? Uh -huh. Not to be mistaken for Ludwig IV, who had a wooden arm. There was also King Gunther IX, who had a paper mache knee. Time to put the holiday behind you, boys. Yeah, Klaus. Uh huh. Winning the Super League title was one thing, but keeping it is going to be much, much harder. Prepare yourselves for some intense preseason training. <laughs> Questions. Yeah, coach. Is it true that you throw shoes at your players when you're angry? Ah! 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 This is ridiculous. We'll never be ready for the season with all these distractions. Maybe we need to get away. Do the rest of our preseason out of town. It'll have to be completely isolated. And yet, very classy. Hmm. I think I know just the place. Eh? It's called... I gotta say, it's great to be away from the media. Yeah, no more cameras on us 24-7. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you sure about this place, Dancing Rasta? Trust me, Coach Man. It has state-of-the-art facilities, two perfect pitches, and, most importantly, complete privacy. This is the perfect pre-season training camp. Great news, guys! It took me a while, but I managed to find the official Amiento Island guy! Man, here we go again. <laughs> 
Did you know the island is home to over 500 plant and animal species? Oh, like the spotted Kwondo bird. The island has an extremely diverse plant and animal population. Yeah, the whole club was Quite fascinating flower. Huh? Huh? Super Strikers? Invincible United. What are you doing here? Let me guess. The perfect preseason training camp? Ha! Too perfect, it seems. We have football pitches on opposite sides of the island. I didn't think it would be a problem. You obviously don't follow the Super League. I specifically booked this island for its privacy. One of us has to leave. But how do we decide who? I have an idea. Why don't we play for it? Do I? So not all off-season rumors are made up. You let him rejoin? Last time I saw Duma play, he got sent off and ate the red card. Duma may be a bit rough around the edges, but he's strong and ruthless, the perfect captain. We have a very different definition of a perfect captain. Welcome back to the Super League, man. It's good to be back. So what do you say, Dancing Rasta? Winners stay, losers go home crying. But whose field do we play on? Yeah, who gets home ground advantage? Guys, considering we have the place to ourselves, why don't we play across the entire island? You're on. I know you couldn't just give in to United, but playing across the island? What were you thinking? We didn't come all the way here for you to play cross-country soccer! It'll take fitness, strategy, and teamwork. Everything we need to work on for the new season. And if we win, we'll have a mental advantage over Super Strikers before the season even begins. If we work as a team and play our best, we'll be unstoppable. Besides, I have a plan that will guarantee victory. And if you'll follow me this way, you will see the historic town square, the historic well, the historic blacksmith's workshop, this historic brick. Did you know that? House! Dude, enough with the factoids. Fine. Did you know that I never wanted to tell you this super interesting fact anyway? Hmm. Rasta. Duma. Let's get underway, shall we? We score here in the north, and you in the south. Uh, how do we know which way is which? Well, did you know there is a flower on the island that... Don't worry, dancing Rasta. A real captain is prepared for anything. Why not? You know the rules, gentlemen. Uh, what are the rules? There aren't any. But I do have some advice for you, Rasta. Keep your eye on the ball. Klaus, cut him off at the well. United, close him down.
It's too crowded. We have to get out of the square. El Matador, dummy run. Gotcha, Captain. Cool Joe, flick on. Sure thing, brother. Shakes to Ali. Got it, Rasta. Nice one, Captain. Too early for congratulations, man. We still got a long way to go. Huh. No, you don't. Looks like you've run down a blind alley, Super Strikers. Hmm. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> Are you two gonna say anything to each other? Anything at all? <sighs> it's gonna be a long day. Man, I'm used to getting out of tight spaces on the pitch, but nothing like this. Yep, this is a totally different game, man. So we got to think differently, use the surroundings. You owe to look, Shakes. Shakes! Glad to see you on top of things. <laughs> well, the stakes couldn't be any higher. The captain has to do it himself. All right, dudes. We're almost through the North Shaw. Ah! It burns! How's that for using the surroundings, dancing Rasta? <sighs> Give it up, Skara. You can't outrun me. <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> See you in the south, loser. 127. 128. 120. Huh? One thirty one. Ah! Did you know you guys are dirty cheats? Man, should have guessed United would be good at this game. Huh. Yeah, because it has no rules. Yeah, tell me about oh. it. What are we gonna do, Captain? This crazy free-for-all does suit United's style. 
so we got to play to our strengths. Just because we ain't on the pitch doesn't mean we don't need a strategy. Now come on, let's show United why we are the champions. One, two, three, Super Strikers! First up, we need the element of surprise. And one of Block's perfectly timed tackles. Then Cool Dro will use his pinpoint crossing to get through the rough. And Shakes finishes the move with some dribbling skills on the green. Ha! All in one. Yeah. Come on, Captain. Dancing Rasta's making you look bad. Don't worry. They're going exactly where I want them. Hey, guys. I think we lost United. But they were right behind us. <sighs> Relax, Cap. The dudes probably gave up. Yeah, they're already packing their bags for the flight home. Hmm, maybe. Oh, wow. This is it. The flower I've been talking about. Did you guys know that it always faces clouds? There's no time to stop and give annoying facts about the flowers. Hold up, guys. What was that, Klaus? This flower always faces north? Huh. If there's one thing I know about being a captain, it's always listen to your team. Hmm. Please, someone say something, do something, anything! Hmm. No, 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 no! Come on, guys, we're almost there. guys doing here? <laughs> they fell right into my trap. Uh, what? What? <laughs> Rasta, Rasta, Rasta. A good captain always plans in advance. To compass. That's right. We rigged it. North and South swapped. <laughs> you brought the ball all the way to your own goal. Check. Pretty smart, Duma. But you forgot your own advice. Oh, really? And what advice is that? Always keep your eye on the ball. I don't need a compass to know where North is. Yeah, he's heading right for your goal. your team, Duma. Yeah, all the way home. Hey, did you guys know that this island is where we kicked your butts? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you even gonna say goodbye? Please, say goodbye. It's easy. Goodbye. See? <laughs> you guys are just doing this to mess with me. Aren't you?
Well done, Rasta. Facing United has really motivated the guys. But there's still a long season ahead. Yeah, the real challenge is only just beginning. What's it like being Invincible United captain again? No comment. And where have you been the last few days? No comment. So you're not denying you were experimented on in a secret government lab? No comment. Or that you had robotic feet surgically attached to your ankles? You really want to know where we were? We were playing a cross-country soccer tournament against Super Strikers on an island, okay? Ah, come on! You expect us you to expect believe us to buy that? that nonsense, sir? How gullible do you think we are? It's the Rob Russell Show! They're the architects of action, marshals of amazement, and leaders in their, uh, field. I'm talking to two of the Super League's greatest captains ahead of their epic showdown. Please welcome Dancing Rasta from Super Strikers and Vladimir Savage from Grim MC. Nice to be here, Rob. Greetings, loud talk show mortal. So, what is the secret to leading on the pitch? Sorry to disappoint, Rob, but there are no secrets. Know your team, know your game plan, and lead by example. That's it. And how about you, Vlad? <laughs> Victory is a certainty when you can see into the very future. So, uh, can you tell me what I'm having for dinner tonight? Macaroni and cheese. Alone. Grimm's ancient powerful book allows me to see moves before they even happen. Behold! The power of the Tactonomicon! <laughs> I prefer to save my performance for the match. Welcome to Ferratuvia. Home of Grim FC. <laughs> oh, cheesy! How dare you puny mortals mock the mighty Vladimir Savage! <laughs> Dude! Uh, Shakes. Grim just beat Iron Tank. 4 nil. <gasps> and Savage set up every goal. Dude ain't gonna have such an easy run against us. Yeah. Even if Savage can tell the future, all he's gonna see is dancing Rasta, kicking his butt! <laughs> if we work together and stick to the game plan, we can put the scare into Grimm. All right, guys, bring it in. Group selfie. Beautiful. You do know what group means, right? on model students. Terry likes Jenna, but Jenna is kinda maybe into Bruce. Meanwhile, Maurice and Lawrence have declared their totally kinda maybe eternal love for Monica, leaving her torn and confused. Uh, I'm also confused. About why you'd wanna watch that show. Yeah, seriously, Klaus. Enough with the teen drama. Ha, huh, model students isn't teen drama, Big Bo. It's a classic coming of age story about loving and learning in a college for supermodels. Also, I'm pretty sure Lawrence, the sportswear model, is based on El Matador. Meh, that guy's got nothing on the original. Turba selfie! What happened out there? No matter how strong you are, or sink you are, nothing can match the power of that infernal book. 
Super Strikers. Welcome to the cauldron. I trust our facilities will be more than adequate for your preparation. Yeah, real state-of-the-art stuff. Kitchen. Dining area. Viewing room. And, most importantly, here is your practice pitch. The D field. Uh, Coach Belmont, dude? Don't you think we deserve a little better than the D field? Oh, don't worry. It's one of the best we have. D stands for dungeon. And finally, let me show you your living quarters. Did you know, in 16th century Feratuvia, it was considered fashion to have one's toilet in the bedroom? Listen up, boys. Turns out Grimm's performance on the pitch surpasses their performance off it. And Savage is at the center of everything they do. He orchestrates the play. Dominates the midfield. And ensures goals for his teammates. <laughs> Whoa! The way he knew where the ball was going to be. And passed without even looking. Kind of seems like he really can. You know, see the future? Oh, no. Don't worry, Klaus. There ain't nothing supernatural about it. I'm not talking about Savage. Season four of Model Students ended on a cliffhanger. It's a graduation ceremony at Fashion University, and the students have to walk the catwalk to fetch their degrees. But Monica still can't decide if she kind of totally maybe loves Maurice, who may or may not be a vampire, or Lawrence, the sportswear model. Anyway, Maurice is doing his thing on the catwalk when Lawrence pulls a wooden stake out of his ponytail. <gasps> oh, come on, guys. It's a good show. What? You can never be too cautious. Yeah, I hear you, Coach. But are you sure you want to lock us in here? Whoa! Kinda creepy, bro. That's kinda spooky. Savage is an outstanding midfielder, but he definitely can't see the future. When you know how your teammates play, thinking two or even three moves ahead isn't in the realm of the supernatural. One. Two. How do you see yourself getting past us, Cap? I don't. Three. Sorry, Shakes. Bad pass. Looks like I need to put in more practice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was amazing! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 so good! Yeah. 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 They're yeah. beautiful! Yeah. They're all like yeah. three steps yeah. ahead. Yeah, bro. Boom! Back heel! <laughs> Good practice, dudes. Can't wait to take on Grim. Uh -huh. That, Shakes, is because you do not know the painful defeat that awaits you. And let me guess. You have foreseen it in the Tectonomicon! <laughs> <laughs> You're confident because you think Dancing Rasta can match me. But I can see five moves into the future with ease. Seems your captain cannot even manage three. 
Oh, El Matador, I think it is an appropriate time for a shocked selfie. Ah! <laughs> How did Savage know about our training? But that humongo door was deadbolted. No way he could have seen us. It's gotta be some kind of trick, right? But how is this possible? I've searched every model student's forum, read every fan theory, but no one knows anything. <sighs> the only way I could find out what happens is if I could see... <gasps> The future! The Tactonomicon! Nine! Nope. Uh -huh. Aha! Aha! Uh, hmm? What are you doing? I'm looking for the Tactonomicon. It must be hidden in a secret chamber. <gasps> Just like Maurice's 300-year-old diary was hidden in his fraternity castle Glitter Vampa Vampa at Fashion University. Jenna Board accidentally stumbled onto it when looking for Terry, huh? who may be a robot. I mean, no human can hold a pose that long. Hmm? Uh, El Matador? <sighs> it's a good show. Come on, coach. Two training sessions in one day? Complain to your captain. He requested it. He has something he wants you all to see. But Klaus and El Matador aren't here. <sighs> Anyone know where they went? I got this. Klaus totally kinda maybe wants to find out what happens in his silly teen drama. Meanwhile, El Matador tries to set the world record for the most selfies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hmm? I think I'm finally ahead of the game. It's like the time in model students when Lucy... Silent selfie. I summon the mighty power of the Tactonomicon to peel back the curtains of time and reveal what happens in season five of model students. Kind of likes the time in model students when Eric. It isn't a good show, Klaus. That was close. Indeed. Just as well we saw them coming. Imagine the trouble it would have caused us if they'd found the book that really works. <laughs> <laughs> Night at the Cauldron. Savage terrified Iron Tank with a dominant midfield display, Brenda. But the men in red aren't easily spooked, Mac. It's going to take something magical to win this one. And Grim may have just that. Oh, come on. 
Don't tell me you buy into that fortune-telling nonsense. Well, sometimes I commentate games so accurately, I wonder if I don't have the gift. <sighs> that is ridiculous. Eh? You will triumph in the battle of the captains. captains? Stop it! Foresight from the Grim Captain. Oh! He unleashes a monster shot! Close call for Super Strikers. Oh, wow! It looks like Dancing Rasta is giving Savage a taste of his own medicine. So close! Ghastly luck for Super Strikers. Could it be that Dancing Rasta is also a... A really good player? Two can play this game. The half's almost over and there's still no score. The two captains are matching each other play for play. Drop the act, Savage. I've got you all figured out. Arrogant mortal. Let me show you how real my powers are. Unbelievable! It's like Savage is everywhere at once. What? strings for his team. And if it carries on like this, you don't need to be a fortune teller to know... Super Strikers are in... for a hiding. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I convinced you guys I could lead you through this, and I let you down. Knowing the team, the strategy, it counts for nothing against Savage. Maybe he really can tell the future. So what? We don't care if he has eight legs and blows fire out of his nostrils. With you leading us, we can beat anyone, anytime, any place. You're the real deal. You're our captain. Team Huddle Selfie! Uh, don't worry, I'll get everyone in this time. Yo, give me that. No, I need to capture this special moment. And how amazing I look. Uh, what's that? Duh! The greatest player in the Super League. Ugh, no. That teeny, tiny thing in the background. What is that? Uh... And there it is again. Pablo? A drone camera? Savage can't tell the future. He's spying on us. So that's how he knew all that stuff about our training. But how does that explain his foresight on the pitch? Hmm, I think I know. Okay, Savage, here we go. No pass. 75 degrees left. Back here, dead left. Triple 30 degrees left. <gasps> Watch out for! You still think you can match me? Huh. I've seen the future, and your whole world is about to come crashing down. What is Shanks oh, doing? Not even I can predict that, Brenda. Ah! <laughs> now, it's just you and me. Play from Dancing Rasta! But 
Students got cancelled. I'll never find out if Monica chose Maurice or Lawrence. Huh. That's one future I'm happy we can't see. Uh-huh. Check it out, guys. Really? Hmm. Thought Grimm would have learned a lesson by now. Let's shoot it down! Wait, 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 wait! It's mine! 360-degree group selfie! Bring it in, guys. Never mind, Grim FC. That's a scary face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tactical Division reporting for duty, sir. Yeah, nine. You have identified Super Striker's key man? <laughs> Duh. Shakes and Del Matador scoring all Super Striker's goals. You're right, Uber, sir. But 65% of those goals were supplied by one person. Ah, uh, who? Klaus. If we stop him, Super Striker's goals will dry up. So how do we do that? With the ultimate in psychological warfare. Operation Alter Ego. Welcome to the Alpine Hotel, boys. You know your roommates for the tour. Department of Defense! <laughs> oh, yeah. Put us in the left wing. No way. The right wing. Oh, yeah, Shakes. Ruby power. I'm not saying that. Come on. It'll be fun. <sighs> Roomy power. I still don't get why I have to stay by myself. <laughs> That's because you've never heard yourself storm. Yeah, dude's like a steam train. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Roll call at 0630. Don't be late. Shakes. Shakes. Shakes! <laughs> Big Shakes, be over <laughs> Shakes, Klaus, you'd better be ready. Uh, ready for action, coach. <laughs> hmm. Phew, thanks, dude. That was close. <laughs> Roomy power? <laughs> Roomy power. for a quick interview? Well, of course, if you El like. El Matador, oh. Shakes, seven goals between you in the last five games. How do you do it? <laughs> I would say all credit to the guys, Lena, but all the credit should go to me. And a little bit to Shakes. <sighs> We're on form, cause Klaus is on form. Yeah. 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 Is this...
is the... Uh, I'm Klaus. Mr. Uh, Klaus! We've been expecting you. Oh. Oh, so cool. Wow, baby, darling, it's you. Uh... I'm Vader Hot Dog, your director. Oh. So, how would you like to be television's newest superstar? Catman! But why me? <laughs> oh, come now, Klaus. You're an athlete, top of your game. Perfect for playing Catman. I suppose. Besides, you two are so similar. Natural born heroes with awesome sidekicks. With awesome sidekicks! <laughs> Introducing Dog Boy. Good dog. Boy? <laughs> and you're funny. The camera loves you already. <sighs> Coach would never allow it. Well, we won't tell if you don't. <laughs> It's our arch nemesis, the Chuckler. Why they call him that, Catman? Because he laughs a lot? No, dog boy, because he chucks stuff. What do you think? The plot is weak, the character motivation unconvincing, and don't get me started on the ending. Yeah, I agree completely. But I meant the experiment on Klaus. I don't get it. What has this got to do with football? Let me explain. Catman or Dog Boy will play 24-7 in the Hotel Alpine. <laughs> Everywhere Klaus looks, he will see himself. Huh? The hero. <laughs> Catman will be the name on everyone's lips. That Catman guy might just be the best actor in the business. And uh, how is this going to stop Klaus? Yeah, surely it is only going to make him more confident? Exactly. But it is this false sense of power that will make Klaus greedy. He will start believing he is the hero who can do everything by himself. I'm the cat man with a cat plan. Please, anything but the cat man. Is there anything you can't do? Woo, woo, woo! Sheik's Udel Matador supply line will be cut off, and Super Striker's run of war will be over. Ready to roll. Huh? Shakes, Klaus, you up? <clears throat> Pretty much, Coach. Uh, hurry up, Klaus. Your teeth are clean enough already. No cavities for that guy, am I right? <laughs> Dudes! Catman's skills are like uh, Olympian. And Dog Boy, that dude knows how to take a hit. Blammo! Catman and Dog Boy are so uncool. It's cool. Yeah, for the first two hours, I thought it was lame. But three, and I was hooked. Hey, Coach was doing his rounds this morning. But I covered for you. <laughs> So, where were you? I was, I went for a run, yeah. I was running. Ready when you are, Klaus. You are not in drill.
Gap, coach. I could have scored. Could have, should have, did it. I'll get it right. I always do. Hey, Klaus. You okay, dude? You were acting really weird at practice. There's nothing wrong with my acting, Shakes. Uh. <laughs> Look, I uh, I got to get an early night. Running again tomorrow morning. Hey, I'll join you. No, Shakes. Uh, bad idea. If you come, who's gonna cover this coach? Roomy power? Yeah. Roomy power. Okay, Roomy. Let's see what you're really up to. I'm putting these two together. Chase, Klaus, you'd better be ready. Be right there, coach. Huh. <sighs> be right there, coach. Be right there, coach. No unauthorized people. Strict instructions. Oh, I'm a friend of Klaus. Yeah, even stricter instructions. No friends of Klaus. What? No, no, no. It's it's cool. We play soccer together. For super strikers? Strictest instructions. No super strikers. Okay, okay. Sheesh. I have to speak to Klaus, but how? Oh, Klaus, baby. Darling, I'm just so excited about what you have in store for us today. Dog boy, you're late again. Why can't you be more like Catman? Clout, I mean, uh, uh, Catman. Can we, uh, talk for a second? Say, there's something different about you. You've been working on your physique, haven't you? Okay, places, people. You too, dog boy. Hey! Let me out! I'm going to miss my call! Again! Your chucking's getting out of hand, Chuckler! Out of hand? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Good stop, dog boy! I owe you! A pie! Catman! Oh, Catman! I need to talk to you. It's me. At Shit. ease, everyone. Klaus has left the building. Good work, tactical division. Seems Klaus has bought into your little plan. Dog boy! The colonel said, at ease. You can take the mask off, yeah? Uh, I prefer to stay in character all the time. Oh. Huh. I like this one. True commitment to the iron tank cause. It's been a grueling week of preparation for both teams. And it's been a grueling week for me, staying in a hotel that only has one channel. Meow, 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 cat man. Like I haven't heard that song enough. Clowns, 
Where were you? Where I was doesn't matter. All that matters is what I'm gonna do to Iron Tank. And where's your roommate? Right here, Coach. Keep up their goal scoring against the mighty tankers. I know about Catman and Dogboy Clubs. Duh, everyone knows about Catman and Dogboy. It's a massive hit show, Shakes. It's not actually a hit show, Clubs. The only place it's ever shown is the Alpha. could result in a real catastrophe for Super Strikers. I'm getting really sick of your attitude. <laughs> See what a great team we make. McCatman and Brenda. So you know my secret. But Catman and Dog Boy is a chance for me to do my own thing. But that's just the point, Klaus. It's not your thing. Yes, Klaus! I'm Catman. Alter Ego is a success. Yes, yes it is, Uber, sir. But... Just kidding. Klaus, <laughs> Catman and Dog Boy is some weird iron take experiment. Ha, perhaps you're just like El Matador, upset that you're not scoring the goals. Come on, man. No, he's right. I am upset. You gotta believe me. Really? Ha. <laughs> Next time, I'll bunk this big ball. Come on! My snoring isn't that bad, is it? Klaus won't listen to me, but I know someone he might listen to. Klaus, what are you doing out there? Yeah! Pass the ball, dude! Yeah, come on, Klaus. I can't believe Iron Tank's gonna break our winning streak. Guys, you're talking like we already lost. That's not how heroes roll. Klaus, I've got a bone to pick with you. Dog boy! Ooh, I love this show! Shakes? I don't like this show anymore. And without further ado, let me introduce Catman. Whoa! You are Catman! Can't believe we didn't see it before. <laughs> don't tell me. Coach is the chocolate. Guys, Catman is a setup by Iron Tank. Come on! You're making television? I was there. I saw Uber, Von Pushup, everyone. No way! Oh, so, brothers. So, I'm not perfect for the role of Catman after all? <laughs> Klaus, you are a hero every time we play Soccer Man. Dude, Iron Tank was so freaked out by your game, they had to invent a whole fake TV show to trick you. <laughs> and we're all each other's sidekicks. Get it? Shakes, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. And I'm really sorry about that pie. Roomy power? Roomy power! Klaus, think you've got a little bit of acting left in you? Top first half for the men in black. Let's see if they've managed to consolidate during the break.
my moves. <laughs> the next TV show we will be making is an action drama starring you. It's called Run For Your Lives, and production starts... I would have been the best Catman. <clears throat> to be or not to be the Catman? That is the question. Whatever, dude. You got nothing on the Klausmeister. Uh, can you sign this? Like, as Catman? <laughs> sure. Just, uh, don't let it go to your head, okay? Don't worry. I don't need to be a superhero. I'm already a super striker. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From, From the, the Super League Disciplinary Board. How can I help you, gentlemen? I have a game to prepare for. Sorry, Coach, but you won't be making the game. Oh, really? And why's that? Your coaching license has expired. Can I deal with this later? I've got to prepare my boys for the... Super League Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not instruct their teams in any way. Now, if you'll come with us, sir. Hmm. Coach secured. On our way to headquarters. Coachman, where are you at? Super League headquarters. My coaching license has expired. What? Huh? I have to redo the Super League coaching test before I can come to the game. <laughs> They're making you renew your license? I thought Coach was born with one. Yeah, I mean, even the other coaches call you Coach. Uh... And the game plan for Iron Tank? Yeah. 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 Kinda need that, coach. <sighs> I'm not allowed to give you any advice. But what I can say is, this is all just a flash in the pan. Don't let it drive you crazy. You're in good form. Sorry I'm beating around the bush. I gotta go. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. But the game is starting in... <gasps> Welcome to Super League Headquarters. Maybe it's just as well Coach is banned. Because that was the worst motivational speech I've ever heard! Made no sense at all! Hmm, maybe it wasn't meant to. So what? It was like a code or something? Flash in pan. Drive you crazy. In good form. Beat around bush. Flash. Drive. In bush. All right, applicants. 
please state your name and motivation for taking the coaching test. Hi, I'm Helena. And I want to become the greatest Super League coach ever. And crush all who stand in my way! <laughs> mm hmm. Next. Uh, hello there. I am Norman. Or Norm. Or whatever you want. <laughs> <clears throat> I am here because of my aptitude for tactical innovation. And finally, sir, hello? I'm Coach. Huh? <gasps> and I'm here because I have a game to win. Anyone have any luck? Coach has come up with three ways to get past Iron Tank's defense. <laughs> nice one, Coach. Hmm. But we need someone with natural coaching skills to interpret these tactics. Move aside! <laughs> Follow these squiggly lines and watch out for the big X's. They look dangerous. Ah! Seriously, oh, dude! Oh, Hello, oh, Matador. Guys, El Matador isn't wrong. Those X's are the most dangerous thing in the Super League right now. Colonel Von Bishop's troops have been blending the league's best attacks with their new defensive formation. It's gonna take a stroke of genius from Coach to win this one. But the first thing he needs to do is actually show up for the game. What could possibly be more important than this? Today, we will be testing if you have what it takes to be a Super League coach. And the fact that I've won the trophy three times doesn't count? The rules are the rules. I must say, coach, I'm surprised you let your license expire. As far as I know, I didn't. Stop right there, sir. You do know my team is playing right now. How am I supposed to follow the game? I sympathize, Coach. Really, I do. But... <sighs> the rules are the rules. Super Strike is on the attack. But they have to find a way through the ultimate defensive formation. Two lines of giant mountain men. The Iron Curtain. Strategy one. We play a one-two around the Iron Curtain. from Super Strikers. But not sharp enough to cut through the curtain. Colonel Von Push-Up wins the first round of the tactical battle. Not too hard when your opposite number doesn't show up. Making the right tactical choices at the right time wins matches. In your first test, you must adjust the formation of your team to outmatch computer-generated scenarios. These will be a challenge even for you, Coach. Done. <laughs> huh? Excellent work. Now, let's try a slightly more difficult scenario, shall we? Oh, right again. How about... <laughs> Got anything else? He's gone through all of them. What's next? I feel like just being around him has made me a better coach. Do you think you'll sign my face? Super 
Strike is on the attack again. Can they do better this time? Strategy two. We chipped a ball over the Iron Curtain. Again, this looks promising for Super Strikers. <laughs> ah! But once again, the Iron Curtain closes in their faces. Looks like Coach got some intel to his team. He didn't prepare for this. Don't worry. Without him here to call the shots, it's curtains for Super Strikers. The second test puts you up against one of the most cunning and devious forces in football, the press. Somehow it did it. One moment, please. I've forgotten my new password. Have you tried one, two, three, four? Or password. I always use password. You did switch it off and on again. Hmm, not the kind of security protocol you'd expect at Super League headquarters. Yeah. Something is up. What do you mean? To make it as a coach, you need three things. Motivation, tactics, and gut instinct. And my gut feels worse than when I ate that egg sandwich I found on the striker bus. <laughs> it was a tactical risk. Now listen up. I've got very little time to work out what's going on here. I could really use a couple of assistant coaches. <gasps> Sorted. Who's first? Norman. Question one. You're about to face Invincible United. How do you plan to deal with Skara? I have a, um, couple of ideas. I would use deep-lying center halves to stop Scar from getting in the space behind the defensive lines. Then, my inverted wingbacks would cut out danger from the wide areas. When Scar is forward, the wingbacks are back. When Scar is back, the wingbacks are forward. Understand? Great. Now, uh, stage two is where things get a little more complicated. So, you want to tell me what's going on? I don't think my license expired by chance, but I need proof. You're in good form? I'm beating around the bush? It just doesn't make sense. Stop obsessing about it. It isn't your job, Agent One. And where are we gonna find this proof? Security footage. me that the test doesn't entirely prepare one for being a coach. You have no idea. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We need to find an access card. Not necessarily. Sometimes force is the best way to get through a strong defense. All right, let's start with last night. Uh, are you watching all those screens at the same time? Huh. When you have to analyze five hours of game highlights a day, you get used to it. Malfunction? Or someone trying to cover their tracks. Well, I and Tank seem very happy to hold out for the draw. And Super Strikers are desperate to claim a precious home win. Strategy three. Make dummy runs to open some space in the middle. I'll handle the rest. Super Strikers make attacking runs. But Dancing Rasta can't find the pass. Oh, but it's all a setup. And 
Italian tank fell for it. <laughs> So oh, close, but Iron Tank's defense is impenetrable. Now more than ever, Super Strikers need their coach. <sighs> Do you guys remember what we talked about in the first half of the practice? Apparently not, because that was garbage! How'd it go? I think I got my point across. <laughs> speech is one of a coach's most important jobs and your final test. It's funny, you know. I have a speech planned, but it's not for you. It's for my team out there fighting and struggling without me. And the worst part? I've been set up. The hole in the window, new passwords, missing security footage. You've had a break in. And my license just happens to expire the day we take on Iron Tank? Read between the lines, people! Hmm. Between the lines? You've reached Coach. Why are you calling me? It's match day. <sighs> Come on, guys! We can't give up now! All we need to do is... Uh, nope. I got nothing. Man, this coaching thing is tough. Helena? Norman? Unfortunately, you'll have to try again. <laughs> Coach, you did very, very, very well. <gasps> huh? Hey! Aren't you gonna save her the moment or something? We've got five minutes until the second half starts. If I don't get a message to my boys, I've failed as a coach. License <gasps> or not. Does that mean you found... A way to tear down the Iron Curtain. You two coming? Don't give up, guys. Coach will pull through for us. I know it. Why are you calling me? It's me. No. <sighs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Norman, I want you to sketch out my new game plan. <gasps> it would be an honor. Helena, find us the quickest way back to Striker Land. Already have. I gotta warn you guys, I drive like I coach. We're well into the second half. And it looks like Super Strikers are finally out of ideas. This game's got stalemate written all over it. <sighs> Rasta, seems it's been a testing time for you. And your coach. Super Strikers are all out of moves. Attack! Suddenly, Iron Tanks bring to life! Can they deliver a sucker punch in the final minutes? But really, Coach only said, like, four sentences. How is that beating around the bush? Seems pretty to the point if you ask me. Stop obsessing! You always do this! Hold it, Coach. Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not at oh. Rule number one. Get out of my way. Iron Tank's attack gathers momentum. Wow, talk about fashionably late. But can Coach get his players to finish the game in style? Ah, relax. There's no way he could have come up with a new strategy. Not while doing the test. 
How's it going, boys? Not so great, Coachman. None of our strategies worked. Well, if going around, over, and through the Iron Curtain didn't work, we're going to play Between the Lines. Strategy four. Sit in the space between the Iron Curtain's two lines, frustrating the tank and forcing them to make a move. Then, we take the gap. Can Super Strikers do what they failed to all game? Finish the move? They've dropped in between the defensive lines. Uber doesn't know whether to hold his position or go forward. Come on, come on! How long do you have to be a coach for this to stop being so nerve-wracking? Beats me. Enough of this foolishness! But you still have a lot to learn if you want to make it as Super League coaches. Yeah, because going up against coach will be the toughest test of your lives. Welcome to Super League headquarters. Due to a security breach, we've decided to retest all coaches. This is ridiculous! Oh, this is Come on! I sympathize. Really, I do. But... The rules are the rules! to get onto the floating stadium. The sun's a sub. The all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. Uh, huh, the floating stadium isn't that cool. This wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that Lequido plays here, would it? No. Dude is a total kook, though. Is this Cut that out, man. Uh, you two are uh, way too competitive, man. Your captain's right, North Shaw. Don't let your rivalry get in the way of your responsibility to the team. Where is the floating stadium? Coming right up. How you doing, bro? Ha-ha! <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> even slower than you are on the pitch. And your jokes are even worse than your surfing. All right, everybody. Ready for a tour of the facility? The floating stadium has gone through some major advancements since your last visit. Our goal is to be able to stay underwater for months at a time. Oxygen is extracted from seawater. Nutrients from seaweed provide our food. Mm. The moon pool is how we access the ocean when the stadium is submerged. Whoa! What are those? Aquatic propulsion devices. We use them for underwater maintenance. Us pros call them APDs, so you can stick to the full name. And here is one of our newest ideas. This ball converts energy from movement into electricity. Perhaps one day, we'll be able to power the whole stadium with the football plane in sight. And finally, the control room. This is where we oversee all the stadium's operations, including sinking and floating. 
pity there isn't a button to make you a better player. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. North Shore. What did I tell you about your rivalry with... Coach Delacqua. Category 5 storm approaching. Ah, what a perfect way to end our tour. You're about to experience one of the greatest marvels in the world. Ursula? fastest team in the Super League. They use their pace to slice through opposition defenses. Leave the slightest gap, and they will exploit it. Defenders, stay in formation at all times. Only commit to the tackle as a last resort. Don't worry, coach. I'm gonna own that kook, Liquido. <sighs> this is not about your rivalry with Liquido. It's about playing as a defensive unit. Shakes, Tiger, give the defenders everything you've got. Guys? Go down well in an airtight environment. Forget about the seafood, Big Bo. I have something much more delicious. Ocean bounties. Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on this delicious cereal. Look out for him in the darkest depths. Hmm? The secret ingredient is deliciousness. <laughs> the secret ingredient is sugar. Liquido. Pity we're stuck down here, bro. Otherwise, I could have given you some surf lessons. Bait me all you want, Liquido. It ain't gonna work. If you want to fish, there are plenty of them out there. Talking about out there, I've been trying a new extreme sport. APD racing. Whoosh. <laughs> Pretty intense stuff. <laughs> Might be too extreme for you, though. I knew you were up for an extreme challenge. Around the stadium and back underneath. You ready? Let's do this. Three, two. Ah! Liquido!
his cereal? Look out for him in the darkest There's no such thing as Tentacle Tim. There's no such thing as... when he finds out what you did. Face it, dude. We're both in for a world of hurt. Maybe we should keep it on the DL. Yeah, we both keep our traps shut, and this may work out all right. Whoa. Did you guys did feel, you feel that? that? Oh, guys, what's that? going on here? Our starboard power core malfunctioned. But I have no idea how. I do. This is obviously the handy work of... Tentacle Tim! <laughs> Seriously, brother, cut down on the sugar. This does mean we don't have enough electricity to get back to the surface. What? what? But don't worry. The stadium can easily sustain us until the power core is repaired. But the game's in a few hours. So, let's play then. But what about the fans? How are they going to watch me score all the goals? That's my job. Des, Football 360 camera crew. Yes! No matter where we play, I'm sure the fans are all behind us. Uh, I think you mean above us. Uh, uh, Match day live from the floating stadium. Well, I'm above it, actually. Hi, Brenda. Hydra's amazing stadium may be stuck on the ocean floor. But the game will carry on as scheduled. And we're going to bring you every second of it, thanks to our one-woman camera team. Go! 
guys? If I were a coach, I'd consider subbing north. Uh, looks like he's taking off the whole team. And I think I know why. The floating stadium's been breached. What? Wow. 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 I can't believe it. Wow. This is terrible. <laughs> Tentacle Tim will do anything to get his suckers on. <gasps> Guido, this is totally our fault. We gotta do something. Nothing to be done, bro. Come on, this is your home ground. I'd never abandon Striker Land. Besides, I thought you were up for an extreme challenge. Ah. This way! Oh no! One of the APDs is missing! Tentacle Team! <laughs> Take it all, you monster! Uh, how much of that stuff have you eaten? Uh, ten or twenty? Boxes? Come on! Dude, you, my friend, have a serious case of the sugar crazies. Well, if Tentacle Tim didn't do all this, then, then who did? Uh, Us. What? We were racing the APDs. And crashed into the stadium. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You guys head back to the surface. We're gonna fix this. And how do you plan to do that with no electricity? Oh, oh we've got one of the biggest power sources in the universe. Our rivalry. The more we kick the ball, the more power we create. Man, it's gonna take some crazy all-action footy. Well, it's worth a shot. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of shots. Maybe it's not too late to make a swim for it. You guys never learn. The real power lies in teamwork. Oh, ah, in yes, it does. Out. We've just received some phenomenal information. Super League teams usually play to raise the roof, but today they're playing to raise the whole stadium. And it looks like even the fans have put aside their rivalries. Don't blame them. Today either both teams win or both teams lose. Powerball Online. And we're off! The two sides charge into action.
yours, bro. Time ever. I don't know what to say. for one, have had enough of the ocean. Ha, tell me about it. I can't believe I got so obsessed with... Ah, tentacle Tim! You were right, Klaus. This stuff is way better than a seafood buffet. <laughs> Of the cereal box. <laughs> North Shaw. Liquido. You guys made a serious mess. And you did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. <laughs> we did it, bro. Yeah, we make a pretty awesome team. So, uh, anyone know the final score? We totally won. Oh, please. The game was all ours. You play like a wet cat. Please. Huh. It was good while it was. You this game kind of a pointly trophy of strike a Man, I love playing in Rio. The cool sights. The amazing weather. And best of all, the samba. One, two, four, five, one, two, seven, one, one, two, three, 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 Ah, then today's your lucky day, my friend. I know the best samba teacher in all Rio. Samba humbug. Do I look like I need lessons? Ha, keep an open mind, El Matador. You never know what you might learn. You guys forgot about Rio's main attraction, your game against Palmentieri. They're on top form. And we need to be prepared. So then, why are we at the beach? <laughs> For some serious, serious, serious training. Ah, oh, man! Another perfect day in paradise. Listen up, boys. Palmentieri attack in numbers, making them very dangerous, but vulnerable to quick counters. Ah, and training on the sand will improve our pace. Exactly. The game plan is simple. Defend deep, dispossess, and get the ball wide to Tiger. He'll use the twisting tornado to catch Palma off guard. Any questions? Yeah, uh, is that meant to be Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> you want art lessons? I know the best teacher in all Rio. <laughs> oh, oh. All yours, Tiger. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Tiger, you can play against Palma, but put too much pressure on your knee and you could be out for months. 
I'm sorry, Tiger. We can't take any chances. And that means... No, no, no. Twisting. 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 Tornado. Tornado. You need some moody violin music? I know the best music teacher in all Rio. Sorry, man. Not interested. What is that? That, my friend, is Capoeira, the Brazilian martial art. And let me guess. You know the best teacher in all Rio? He trains on Hosinia Hill. Hmm. Maybe I can still be Twisting Tiger. Listen up, boys. Yeah, yeah, more serious, serious training. Actually, I'm giving you the day off. Huh? Who are you? You guys rocked training yesterday, so I booked us all... Yes! ...on a day-long... Yes! ...sightseeing bus tour! Yeah! Oh, no! Welcome to the Rio de Janeiro bus tour. Prepare yourself for hours and hours of non-stop interesting facts. Unfortunately, the aircon is broken. But if you look under your seats, you will find a complimentary bag of extra salty peanuts. Gee, thanks. This road built Ugh. at the turn. Even of the serious, century. serious, serious the training is better than this. History. Built by the father What's up, dude? I think I found a new way to do the twisting tornado. A way that won't hurt my knee. But I'm stuck here. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. We can handle Palma. This isn't about the game shakes. I'm Twisting Tiger. Without the Twisting Tornado, I'm... I'm no one. Nice work, guys. Perform like that tonight, and Super Strikers are in big trouble. Especially now that Twisting Tiger is out. Donaldo, don't be overconfident. Super Strikers still have plenty of match winners in their side. And Coach has a backup plan. I think it's time we did some header training. And if you look out the window to your left, you see the magnificent Sugarloaf Mountain. Cool! And do we get to go up there? Not part of the tour. And also on the left, you will see the area of Lapa, famous for its big parties. <gasps> also not oh. part of the tour. And coming up on the right is the famous Hosinha Favela. Senior Hill, this is it. This is where I can learn capoeira. You gotta help me get off this bus, Shakes. Ugh, okay, fine. Staples, greaseproof paper. Hold on, everybody. I think it's time I say what everyone is thinking. This bus tour is amazing. We should do this in every city we play in. Hey, you guys leave Shakes alone. He's right. This tour is very informative. Hmm. <clears throat> Yo, 
So, um, where's this master? <laughs> it's you? Wait a second. Are you also the art, music, and samba teacher? Rhythm, vision, expression. Capoeira incorporates all of these things. Besides, guys got to make a living, right? The first step to mastering capoeira is the jinga. Um, you sure this isn't part of your samba class? The jinga is the basis of all capoeira. It lets you switch from defense to attack in an instant. The trick is to wait for your opponent to make the first move. Then, when his defenses are down, Huh? Counter-attack. The Botanical Garden is the perfect place to spend a hot, hot, hot day like today. But it's not part of the tour. Please stop. You're ruining Rio! Next up on the tour... Oh, we gotta get out of here. Well, now's our chance. Come on, guys. It'd be disrespectful to coach if we just left. And that concludes the first half of the tour. For the next four hours, we will go. We on got a to fast get off this bus! Journey. Ha ha! Yes! Good job, my friend. Keep it up. So, when can you teach me the handstand spin? <laughs> oh, there, Tiger. What's the hurry, man? Nothing, I suppose. It's not like I'm playing. But I should go watch the game. Support the guys, you know? Don't worry, my friend. I've got the best seats in all of Rio. <laughs> nice. Huh? What? They're preparing to face Lanky? They know our strategy. Jiao, you have to teach me that move. Now! Rio de Janeiro, a land of surf, soccer, and samba. Huh? Truly, what? truly, a place hmm? defined by outdoor living. And on your right, you'll see the famous Copacabana Beach. I don't believe it! Second, yourself on the beautiful white sands with the wind and the ocean. All right, you watching? Now, you try. <laughs> Okay! A for effort, my friend. But I think you need a little more training. Hey, what's this got to do with capoeira training? Nothing. But thanks for the help. But that tour was just so boring. I know. And I was on it for another three hours. There's one other thing, Coach. We don't know where Tiger is. 
don't worry about Tiger for now. We've got the game plan. We've got the players. Now, let's get the result. Tiger! Remember, my friend, for the spin to work, you must use the Jenga. Thanks, but I've got what I need. At least do one thing for me, yeah? Take a flyer for your friends. Welcome to Palmentieri versus Super Strikers, live from Ramba Stadium. The Brazilian maestros have a full strength side. But Super Strikers are missing Twisting Tiger. Huh? And with their on-form player out of action, do Super Strikers have a plan B? Yep, get the ball up to the tall man. Huh? Unfortunately for Coach, Edwin saw that strategy coming a mile off. And there it is! Magnificent goal from the Samba boys. No twisting tiger, long ball shut down. Super Strikers fans must be hoping they have a plan C. Actually, I think Plan A just arrived. All right! Woohoo! <clears throat> what can I say? Rio, amazing city. Where have you been? Just because you aren't on the pitch doesn't mean your teammates don't need your support. I can give them more than support. I can win this game. You mean... The Twisting Tornado is back in action. And Super Strikers make their first substitution. Twisting Tiger on for length. Hey, wait a second. If Tiger is Plan A and he's coming on after Plan B, then Plan B is Plan A and Plan A is... Someone get me a pen and paper. Ugh. Twisting Tiger is on the ball. Can he make an impact? Well, you don't get much more impactful than that. He's turned his signature move upside down. <laughs> Must still be in the testing phase, Brenda. Where's the pace, Tiger? We need fast counters. What's up with Twisting Tiger? He needs to use the Jenga. The what? Funny you should ask. Wow! Now Tiger's really giving it his all. Uh, pity the whistle's gone. Yeah, not even half time could wait for Tiger to finish that move. So, to sum up the first 45, Super Strikers tried Plan A, Plan B, Plan A plus B, but seeing that Plan A was Plan B, and A plus A is 2A, then... they had two of the same plan? Ugh, I need more paper. Selfish play? Not following instructions? This isn't like you, Twisting Tiger. I have my signature move back. I'm more me than I've been for days. You ain't defined by one move, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, then why is my name Twisting Tiger? Hey, uh, Tiger, uh, some guy once gave me a very good piece of advice. Always keep an open mind. You never know what you might learn. <sighs> you guys are right. Of course you are. I guess I was in such a hurry to find my identity. I lost it. And you aren't the only ones I should have listened to. The second half is underway. And surprise, surprise, Paul Mentieri are on the attack. Aye, but the question on everyone's mind is, 
Because plan B was plan A, plan C then is actually plan B. So do super psychers have a plan C, which very well might be plan D? It's a question I'm very sure no one but you is asking. Don Aldo on the ball. The tiger is waiting for him. Wait for your opponent to make the first move. And when his defenses are down... Counter attack! First, the upside down tornado. Now, the twisting tackle. What's next? A two-in-one special? Spinning from defense to attack in an instant! He's turning Palma's world upside down! This is the life. Sure beats a guided tour, right, Coach Man? <laughs> Couldn't agree more. An upside down twisting tornado? How on earth did you come up with that? A capoeira master taught me the technique. What? <laughs> that spin was next level. I know, right? I'd do like anything to learn from that master. Well, today's your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> 